Hi, what's up everyone? I am GC Rock and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be going over the summer event on the Division 2 that has just gone live. I'll be giving you all the details, including how to get today's reward, which is this Odea cowboy hat. So you can get this today. I'll explain in the video how this is going to work and how you can unlock more rewards, including a brand new named weapon that is coming to the game. We'll check that out as well. On top of that, we'll go over today's patch notes so you can see what has changed in the game today. First things first is the summer project. Now, I think this is going to work exactly the same how the Christmas or winter project did at the end of last year. And how they did it was each day a project went live, you had to complete a task and you'd get a reward. You can see the rewards on the left hand side of the screen here. You get some XP and the Odea cowboy hat. Now, for day one of this project is very, very simple. You just got to complete missions while you are grouped. To do this, just simply matchmake or invite a friend and complete two missions. I invited Lady Rock, we took on Lincoln Memorial on Heroic and got that done. And then once we'd done that, just to test if you could do the same mission and on any difficulty, we restarted Lincoln on Normal and completed it on Normal. And I can confirm that you can do this on any difficulty, it can be the same mission. You can see Project Finish at the top of the screen there, and I got my oh dear cowboy hat. So that's day one, and it's as easy as that. There's going to be many more days of this, though, and we will have a look at the patch notes, what it says about this project. But how the winter project worked, I think there's something like, might have been 12 days in total. I could be wrong, uh, but you would get a new project every single day with a new reward, and the event lasted for quite a long time. I think it started at the start of December, end of November last year, and you had until early January to get it done. This works the same. Again, we're going to be going over the dates in a moment when we go through the patch notes, but if you are late to the game on this, if you don't start playing the game until later, how it's going to work is it, even if all the days have been released whenever you start as long as as long as it's before the end date of this event you'll start from day one and you can just go through day one all the way through to the final day in one sitting to get them all done so don't worry too much about this being time gated as long as you get it all done before the final day of the event you're going to be fine I will have you covered for each and every day of this event though and if the winter event is anything to go by there will be some more difficult aspects to this some puzzly things that you got to figure out as well so we've got you covered i am going to talk about the new weapon that's coming this in this event as well in a moment but first let's just cover the patch notes so these are the tu 21.3 patch notes that went live today they've done some sub stability fixes fixed the crashing issues on the character selection screen they fixed various crashing issues related to group activities on and the loading screen added various stability and performance improvements improvements and here's the notes about the summer event they say it's the summer break take some time to reset and refresh yourself with the division 2 the summer event projects change start on august 6th and ends on august 20th summer event is available for all players that have projects system unlocked so that means you've got to be level 40 and there's seven new projects for players to take on with nine rewards to unlock so what we we're saying earlier about daily projects there's going to be seven so i'm guessing they're going to go out over the next week we'll cover those for you but at the end of those seven days you don't need to worry if you haven't logged on yet because you'll have until august 20th to get all seven of these done and if they're all unlocked as you log on you'll be able to do them all in one go whereas now we gotta wait each day to get them for the next seven days if that makes sense but you got until august 20th to get these so just make sure you log on and get it all done before the time runs out Steam achievements, they have added Steam achievements, have they? So Steam achievements will be rolled out and available soon after the maintenance concludes. There we go. Progress is shared between Ubisoft Connect and Steam. Completing an achievement on one platform will automatically mark it as complete on the other. Previously completed achievements in Ubisoft Connect will appear as completed in Steam. World tier removal, they fixed the issue with several specialization skill mods requiring the player to be level 40 to equip. They fixed the issue with players being unable to talk to Agent Kelso in the Reach the Castle mission if they reach level 40 before progressing in the main story. And they fixed the issue of being unable to matchmake once Warlords of New York was started on a new character. Gear and talents, they fixed the issue with the rules of engagement talent amplifying skill damage in addition to weapon damage. And some other fixes, they fixed the issue with a textile vendor Danny Weaver selling Year 5 Season 3 seasonal caches instead of year six season one they fixed minor visual issues with agent gear including the back 
pack strap, pants clipping and hand discoloration. And they fixed the issue where mods were not being deconstructed after enabling auto mod deconstruction and restarting the game. And finally, the brand new weapon that's come with the summer event. If you head over to expertise menu and to rifles, I noticed this because I had one I had to do and I thought I was done. You'll notice that there's a weapon called Cola. So this is a new named rifle in the game and you may recognize the skin as well. This skin was the original Dr. Holmes skin when that exotic was released and it had a ton of complaints. They said it looked like a water pistol. And that's what's quite funny about this because they changed the Dr. Holmes skin, made it look a lot better. But this skin is used for this new weapon called the Cola and it's quite obvious that it's got to be a water pistol. And I think it's brilliant. We don't know any more details right now because this is something that you're going to have to get during the seven day summer project that's going on. Uh, summer event but once once it's unlocked it's going to be a special talent for it i'm thinking this is going to be like something like the slayer where that was shooting snowballs this is going to be a water pistol instead i'm guessing and we'll see what that talent is they have a little bit of fun with this one i'm sure it's not going to break the meta or anything like that but i'm all for fun can't wait to see what this is and we've got this weapon to look forward to over the next seven days and that is everything for today's video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit like on it. Subscribe for more content from myself. I'll get day two of the summer event project out for you as soon as it goes live. And as I said, we'll cover the rest of it. As soon as we get this caller rifle, we'll have a look at that also and see what fun builds we can do or fun activities we can do with it. Thanks again for watching. Take care. And until next time, peace out.